mountain biking to me is like the way to kind of escape from my normal nine to five, I guess. I mean, I go to school, I go to work, and everything just, it just piles up. So, I mean, I gotta have a way to, you know, get out and breathe, get some fresh air, and this is the best way to do it. Mountain biking has had a big effect on me overall. Um, I think mainly the best benefit I get out of it is it cleans out the cobwebs. So it kind of sweeps out the crazy and I can think clear after a ride. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if I can get a ride in before a day at work, my day is always much, much better. Um, but honestly, it's just a lot of fun. It's a, it's a really good time. So, uh, you know, it's been challenging for me to, you know, get used to it. Uh, but it's been good, you know. Had a couple up and ups and downs, you know. Still learning how to ride a little bit on the mountain. But uh, Annadale's a great place to ride. Mountain biking is awesome. It's like hiking, but faster. You can go up hills, you go down hills, you can go down really steep and gnarly stuff with jumps and drops and getting crazy. And the bike's like sliding out to the side and just barely hanging on and just ride it out. And then there might be some cowbell. Louder, uh, 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 get ready. So this is mountain biking, a sport that involves flying at high speeds down the tightly knit trail infested with rocks, boulders, roots, trees, and other people. However, unlike traditional forms of riding, mountain biking pushes the limits of the rider by having them climb up steep, technical, and loose terrain by then rewarding their inner adrenaline junkie with a quick descent down the same terrain they just climbed. For most, this is what riding is all about. For me personally, um, mountain biking, <laughs> I learned to mountain bike before I could walk again. Um, long story on that, but to make it a little shorter, I broke my back and I was having a really hard time learning to walk again. Um, and so I started taking cycling classes and then the first bike I actually got onto was a mountain bike. So for me, mountain biking has been a relief, a time to finally get back outside and be not stuck inside because <laughs> um, I was stuck inside for quite a while but that's kind of been for me personally what mountain biking has done but I like Annandale a lot it's very different for me I ride in Fort Ord in Monterey um, and it's very sandy there it's very like more flat than here you could probably do 20 miles and only do maybe a thousand feet of climbing like it's not mm -hmm not too much climbing there, but there's no trees there. I can mm -hmm. tell you that. Here, it's, I love it here. The trees are beautiful out here. The weather is really nice to go mountain biking almost every day, which is good. Um, we're in Monterey, it's kind of like, oh, it's 30 degrees outside. Do I really want to go? <laughs> In order for this thrill-seeking sport to take life, riders need a place to call their home. For Sonoma County, no place serves as a better home than Annadale State Park. By offering a wide variety of terrain and trails, Annadale has become a local gem for its riders. Annadale, it's a great mountain. Uh, I haven't ridden very many mountains, but Annadale is my favorite because it's the only one I've ridden, of course. But yeah, Annadale, you know, there's always a new trail. That, you know that you can ride on. You know, it's always a different route. I've probably been I don't know, up here ten to twenty times. I've never ridden the same same route twice. You know, you got some good mountains, downhills all over the all over the the mountain. You know, uh, not every downhill is the same, which is why I think I enjoy it. Not every uphill is the same either. Um, but yeah, and you know, that's great trees. Great trees everywhere. You know, good valleys. <laughs> Not only does the state park serve as a scenic recreative area for locals, it is also the primary location of our county's mountain bike scene, and as a result, 
the park has built up quite the reputation amongst its riders and is also a hotspot within California. Look where we are. It's green everywhere. I guess there's no one. It's so peaceful. It's just me and my bike and just charging through the woods. I mean, it's, it, it, it gives me adrenaline, which is what, what I really like, but it also, I mean, allows me to relax. The popularity of the sport exploding within the community, the demand for bike shops has never been better. Within Sonoma County resides numerous bike shops including NorCal Bike Sport, Performance Bicycle, Community Bikes, The Bike Peddler, and our local REI. These shops act as bloodlines for locals providing the proper equipment needed for riding, but they also serve a more vital role within the scene, for they provide bike maintenance services for its riders. From flat fixes to complete overhauls, bike shops are there to keep riders on the trail by fixing the tools of the trade that they call their bikes. Uh, my job title is Master Tech. Um, I don't know, I've been at this location in this job at, for about seven years now. Um, we did, did this in the same capability to other ones, but um, yeah, that's my job. We kind of build fix, repair, any possible thing with two wheels that you can imagine. <laughs> as far as what we give back to the mountain bike community here. Yeah. Um, REI specifically? Well, just as a store in general. I mean, just at this location because, it, you know, with Sonoma County and the mountain bike scene, I mean. Yeah, I mean, as far as what we give back, I mean, REI as a, as a company, we, we give back um, there's trail time we've donated to was it the Sonoma County Sonoma County Bike Coalition. Uh, we've organized trail maintenances in Annandale. We helped build the bridge up on Marsh, the bridge that goes over there to it would relieve the impact on the area. Um, so we're in, in that sense uh, delivering on being stewards for the environment and then also s making some trails, making you know places for people to ride. Uh, that kind of almost are in line with our clientele. You know, right there. Totally. Um, and you know, I teach classes here. Um, you know, to it's sort of giving back, but we're also you know, getting money for it. Uh, but you know, teaching people how to to work on their bikes, so they don't always have to bring it bring it in here for um, for us to work on. Uh, every little skill from. Turning wheels, brakes, derailleurs, um, and in full detail, or just simple fixing of flats that we do like once a month to get people out there. Very powerful things to just keep people actually riding uh, out there. Uh, cool. I mean, other stuff REI gives it gives back again as a company and locally, not only the bike coalition and, and the, the the trails, but. Um, you know, to other things as well, but in the mountain bike community, I think is so evolved out here, and then it's continuing to expand. There's a whole bunch of new places that are opening up. Uh, right now, we're on Taylor Mountain doing trail maintenance up there, actually breaking and making trails in a new park system that REI is heavily involved in, and it's that's pretty cool. You know, we're the first people to do that. I just want to do it because it's fucking fun.
filming and making this production, I was asked if the local mountain bike scene was fading. I recalled laughing, then stating calmly, no, it's just getting started. As long as there are parks and trails, there will be cyclists to ride on them. We have no intention of slowing down and we will continue to ride until we no longer can. Our local scene is alive and well and continuing to grow. For those watching this, I'll leave you with some local advice. Go ride your goddamn bike. <laughs>